Hey, hello, good morning, guys, and this is Coding with Gautam. And guys, today in this video, we will be covering the guide to Boss Star One. So, without any further ado, sorry for the disruption, guys. And I'll just go back to where we are. And now let's just let's get resume. So now today I'm gonna cover the guides, the boss star one. So now basically what is a boss star? So let's just note that down. What is a boss star? So basically a boss star is a thing where you're the boss and you can command things to attack. So based on your boss star, there will be different capabilities on what you can summon, what you can command. So now, let's see what is a boss star. And we already explained that. So now we will be covering what is the use. So now, what is the use of a boss star? Number one, it can help us learn more coding. And number two, it can help us like get new possibilities and think that you have tons of enemies that you have to attack. And you can just summon soldiers, archers, paladins, artillery, anything. But it depends on the number of the boss star. So you can just use it to summon and you can command them to attack. The enemy defend the hero defend one point defend your house something but at least you have some people to help you so that is the use of a boss star so what can you do with the boss star one so now what can you do with the boss star one since this is the first boss star you don't have that much possibilities, but when you come out to the second, third, fourth, and fifth, you may have more capabilities and more things to do. So what does it do? You can only have two commands. Attack and move. And I'm just going to cover this one so that we can have just a small closer look at it. Defend. This might be in boss star 2, but I'm just going to cover this topic lightly. So now, you can attack, move, and defend. So basically, in other words, the soldiers can attack, they can move to a place, and defend something. So now, I'll explain the attack thing. So, in attack, you just attack a thing in a variable you give. For example, let's just have some simple code. You have a while, you have a while true, you have a while true loop, and in that you have the variable friends equals hero dot find friends. So now, after that's done, we have to do a little bit of for loop for that. So now we get the for loop thing in for variable i equals zero i less than friends dot length i plus plus. So that's how it goes. And then after that you have to define the variable friend using some over indexing. Variable friend equals friends in the friends in the i index. So then you have to define the variable enemy because you need something to attack. So that's what variable enemy equals friend dot find nearest enemy. So that's what you can do. So instead of the hero's nearest enemy, he will find his own nearest enemy. So that will give a more better result. And now finally, for the command statement. So this is what we were waiting for. Command. The command statement is like just what the boss star does. You can command them to do anything according to your boss star. So now we are doing the attack. So we command the friend. 
to attack. So now you notice why I'm using the quotation marks because attack is not a variable, it's a method. So it has to be in quotations and don't forget the commas. And now what he should attack. So it's the enemy. Close semicolon. And we forgot tons of semicolons over here. Another one here. Another one here. And we have finished. So this is basic and simple attack code. So now let's go to move code. So now we just want the same thing, but now we're gonna do it for the move statement. So let's just get that in move. But now we don't need the nearest enemy. Now we're gonna cover something which is a little bit more complicated. So now we covered the move. So now as I fill in the move thing, we just change the variable to move. Sorry, the method to move. And now we have to do something different over here. So now we have to give x, y positions. So we have to add curly brackets. And in that, we have to give it two arguments. Number one, the x position. So now you have the x colon to say that this is the x position he should move at. So now we give 73. Don't forget the comma. Now y, let us say... 23 so that's how he does it and now if you run this code in code combat that guy will move and now we have finished this and now i'm gonna cover the defend thing so now i just need the same code over here go down defend and after we do that now we have everything good and now we need the enemy verb because now we want him to defend. So many people do a mistake saying that, like the attack, they keep enemy. But he'll defend the enemy, which is like killing the hero and his other friends. So that's why you can ask him to defend a place or a thing. So it's like attack and move mixed together. So first I'll cover the place. So like the same XY coordinates, you have to give him same like some XY coordinates. Let's say 45 and next then y. Uh, sorry for that. And the y could be 23. So now he'll go there and he'll defend it. He'll make a circle around it with his other buddies. And he'll get it like a nice and small circle. And now after that is done, I will tell you how to command the, the thing. So now friend comma defend defend now you can ask him to defend the hero a place but now let's just settle for hero you can ask him to defend himself another friend okay so etc etc it's lots of possibilities and now we forgot one more thing how do we summon the soldiers? So now, I'll just go down and I'll talk about that. Summoning soldiers. So now, this will be a lot different. So first, basically, like always, we cannot forget our while true loop. And next of that is done we have to type some code in the middle so now we have to start so now we have to write an if loop so if hero.gold is greater than or equal to hero.cost of since we're summoning soldiers let's talk about soldier and now I'll explain what this does. So basically what this does is it takes our goal like how much money we have and if it's greater than like uh, the cost of soldiers 20 coins if it's like 25 or if it's 20 or if it's greater or equal it will summon it. 
So cost of helps you like determine the cost of a thing. So maybe an archer is 25, a griffin rider is 50. So for the different costs, we have to do it. now the summon command. The summon command is very simple. You just have to summon a soldier. And now poof, a soldier comes up if you have more than 20 coins. And now, this is the guide to the boss star. Here is what you can do with the boss star. One, because I'm going to cover two and then three in more videos. And now, this is the guide to the boss star one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you understood the boss star. And guys, I hope you liked this video. And this is Coding with Gotham, and I'll see you next time.